Okay, so tonight I've turned the macro button up, so everything should be in focus. Um, we're just going to continue looking at Python tonight. Um, just a few quick things on how to handle numbers and strings in Python. We're going to be using the interactive uh, interpreter. So let's get to the command prompt and get busy. So you're going to want to type, um, you're going to want to change directory into um, the Python directory and then execute Python. Exe. That will put us into interactive mode. Now, tonight, um, yesterday we looked at running your first script, hello world. Today we're going to look at variables, i.e. numbers and strings. So setting um, variables as numbers is easy in Python. If I just type x equals 10 and then print x to the screen, you shall see that x equals 10. Now, X is automatically defined as a number when we pass that number into it. Now if we wanted to define X as a string, we'd just type X equals string. Right? So let's print that out to the screen. Print X. So we have a, a string. Now, uh, what we can also do is we can define multiple variables at the same time, so we can say x comma y space equals 10 comma 20 and if we print x to the screen you'll see that x is 10 and if we print y to the screen you will see that y is 20. All right. the next thing um, is adding strings so um, let's just take x plus y enter equals 30, nice and easy Right, now let's say x and y are equal to dog and ball. Okay, so now we could print x individually, which is dog, and print ball. No, I'm sorry, print y, which is ball. Okay, so that's nice and easy. Now how do you join strings? Joining strings in Python is easy. So if we print print x plus, we'll put a space in there, plus y, enter, and we get dog space ball. Nice and easy. Now that's our first little look into integers and strings in Python. Uh, we've covered quite a lot in this lesson, so go away, have a practice, uh, and a play about. We're going to be covering some more Python soon, looking at some file I.O. and user input and um, random number generation. So in the meantime, have fun hacking, get your coding boots on and um, we'll be back soon with some more cool stuff. We're going to be looking at Python over the next few episodes.